Let's jump right in, Tap Heroes. Our first stretch is the Puppy Pose, where instead of sitting the butt to the heels, the hips will stay over the knees, and the goal is to reach the hands as far away from the knees and hips as possible while driving the shoulders to the floor. As you'll see in the video, the goal is to continually try to drive the chest to floor, ensuring that the crook of the elbow remains pointed towards the ceiling. Within the kneeling lat stretch, we will just emphasize one arm at a time, alternating back and forth with just a two second hold, with the palm reaching towards the middle of the back and driving the armpit to the floor while pushing the elbow into the floor. Next is the bent elbow scorpion. Within this stretch, the focus will be to bring one hand, as seen here, the right hand to a push-up position, and the left hand to a 90 degree bend in the elbow with the elbow at shoulder height. The goal with the leg is to drive the right heel into the floor while rotating the right knee away from the floor. The goal is to drive the right shoulder away from the floor while keeping the left shoulder down on the floor. As we switch sides, the goal here is to just opposite everything within the stretch, now driving the left shoulder away from the floor, left knee away from the floor, and driving left heel into the floor on the opposite side. The straight arm scorpion is essentially the same thing as the bent elbow except for the straight arm. The goal is to still emphasize rotating the crook of the elbow up and pointing the elbow down, although this is very difficult for most people, but basically take your shoulder away from your ear and think about de-shrugging on the straight arm. Everything else is identical to the bent elbow scorpion, keeping your shoulder driving away from the floor on the opposite side and knee away from the floor as well. As you switch sides, the goal and emphasis again is to pack the shoulder on the straight arm, press away from the floor with the bent arm that's in the push-up position, and rotate the hips and shoulders as much open in the stretch. As we progress into the quadruped positions, it's noted that the knees are lifted within these positions and if that is too difficult or too much to handle on the wrists, just set the knees down. One hand will turn back, one hand will turn forward, and the goal here is to get as much range of motion in a circular pattern as possible, ensuring that the palms stay down, elbows stay locked, and shoulders stay away from the ears. Knees do not move up and down away from the floor. Knees stay one inch away from the floor. As we progress into the wrist flexion, the goal within the wrist flexion is to ensure still that elbows are straight and shoulders are down, but then next the goal will be to press the top of the palm to the, the floor, focusing on keeping that and lifting the knees. If you can lift the knees, try to hold for a four count. As we progress to the advanced cat cow, if you're unable to keep this with knees lifted, simply just set the knees down on the floor. But the goal is to get as much of an arch in the lower back and shoulder blades as possible while not crinking the neck. Ensure that the arms are still straight, elbows are not bent, and shoulders are still away from the ears. Next is the pike stand with heel lift, also known as a downward dog. The goal here is to try to straighten the knees as much as possible, getting heels to floor while driving armpits to toes and arching the lower back as much as possible. As we progress to the lunge and reach, 
The next focus on the lunge and reach will be to flex the back knee, keeping the back leg straight, and on the first movement, dropping elbow as low as possible without bending the elbow on what you see as the left side here. As we reach the ceiling, you'll notice that the thumb rotates back behind you and your palm reaches towards your head. As we switch sides, again the goal will be to get the heel as close to the palm as possible, setting your palm and your knee or heel in the front one cubit measure away from each other so that you can set your palm to elbow in between for your position. The Shaolin sit is meant to be something that you keep the entire body in alignment and you're focusing on dropping the hips to the floor, keeping the shoulder with the hand on the floor away from the ear and not shrugging on that side. As you drop the hips to the floor, the focus is to make sure that we don't rotate the hips forward or back, but keep the hips stacked and as if in a straight line if we're looking from overhead. The deep squat with reach is emphasized to get as low in a squat as possible, sitting hips as much to the floor as possible, pressing the tricep against the inner knee or quad, rotating the fingers in just slightly, and as we reach overhead, turning the thumb back or behind you and the palm up towards the head. As we rotate, look up and over the shoulder or up towards that top hand, and the goal is to try to get the hand and arm as much over the shoulder as possible while maintaining heels down and weight back in the heels with toes pressed into the floor. The easy bridge to leg raise is meant to be something where we're driving hips first to the ceiling and then second lifting the heels off the floor for a four second count. As we drive the hips to the ceiling again, you'll notice that we first do with the hands or fingers pointing forward, then second with the fingers pointing back, then driving the hips to the ceiling and focusing on retracting the shoulders back and down, not shrugging through. The, f the bridge, and then on the leg lift, focusing on lifting the heels for a four count and keeping the legs lifted through that position. Again, rotating the fingers forward from rep to rep, and then switching two fingers backward on the next rep. Ensure shoulder position is nice and strong on both, shoulders stay away from the ears. On the leg lift, make sure to keep palms down as legs are lifted. The Jefferson curl starts by tucking the chin to the chest and then crunching as if you're moving each individual vertebrae at a time. You'll first see seen here with the heels on the floor, focusing on getting the palms to the floor and if you're unable to reach, go as low as possible and then the goal is to flex the quads and crunch the abs as much as possible at the bottom position and hold for a two count. If this is not as much of a stretch as needed, stand on a platform or some blocks of some sort and go into a further range of motion, ensuring as much depth as possible. The passive to active hang with hollow to arched core is basically a cat cow in the core with a active to passive shoulder position. 
ensuring on the arch that we pack the shoulders and on the hollow core that we're relaxing the shoulders. You'll see the shoulders elevate and depress and you'll see the abs shorten and then the lower back arch within this position. The goal on the pack is to arch the lower back and the goal on the relax is to shorten the abs. Archer scap retracts. Going from a completely relaxed shoulder position to a contracted and packed position on just one side. So one shoulder will remain relaxed while the other shoulder will pack down and back into the position. The core and abs will stay in a packed or active hollow core position within this movement. Line stick shoulder pass throughs. The goal through this movement is to bring the hands as close together while keeping abs short and the nose pretty much touching the floor or in contact with the floor. Do not lift the head, do not arch the back, and as you move, keep the hands in place and try to bring the hands closer as the shoulders loosen up. Do not bend the elbows and also ensure that the crook of the elbow is pointing forward or basically overhead through this position. Stick shoulder extension. Make sure to stay tall through this movement. Do not lean forward or stick the butt back. Focusing on driving the PVC as far from the hips while keeping shoulders down and back through this movement. The goal here is to make sure that elbows stay straight and get as much range of motion while contracting your back muscles as possible. Thanks a ton for following along with us guys. We hope you got a lot out of this and we really enjoy this online community. So make sure to subscribe and like our channel. And as always, stay hungry and get after it.